Hi, my name is Diana Lane. I'm a trainer for organizations and schools. I'm also a model and I love designing and launching programs related to self-development and health. After all, you've got one life, one body, make the best use of it. Now, I recently joined a pageant. Um, it's like a Mrs. Singapore pageant. The name of it is Miss and Mrs. Singapore Linton Island Wide 2017. And the overall winner gets to go to Jamaica to compete in the United Nations pageant. Now, I was asked this question about what's my message in this platform. And my message begins with a question, what percentage of women actually feel beautiful? Only 3%, and that's absolutely ridiculous. Both you and I know women who don't feel beautiful despite the external beauty. Our relatives, our mothers, our sisters, our girlfriends, and even celebrities, and a lot of people in the entertainment, beauty, and fashion industry don't feel beautiful despite their external beauty. I want to share with you some anecdotes. First up, I was in a modeling assignment and I complimented the model in front of me, and she's really gorgeous. And she completely dismissed me and she didn't feel beautiful at all. I found it really puzzling. Second, I've got, I've been a trainer since 2001 and I've got a lot of um, interactions with teenagers and quite a number of them have very poor self-esteem, poor body image issues and poor self, like a lot of them, even though they're really slim, they actually feel fat. And I've got one teenager recently, she says she likes eating green coffee beans and the only reason she likes them is because it helps her lose weight and speed up her metabolism because of the caffeine inside. And she tells me she hates to eat. Hmm. Well, for teenagers that I can influence and inspire, I'd really like to be out there to to do so. Number three is I've got quite a number of friends who have really fantastic makeup skills and they look gorgeous all the time and I compliment them. And they don't feel beautiful. And I find it really puzzling, really. And fourth one is I'm guilty of the same. When we feel really good about ourselves, when we feel glamorous, dolled up, it takes so little to shake our self-esteem and self-worth and put us into doubt. So it just takes a few rejections, few criticisms and down, you know, our self-esteem takes a hit. So a lot of makeup and plastic surgery is not going to fix people on the inside. It's really important that we learn skills to feel beautiful within. So Confucius says we want to change the world, it begins with ourself, and I ask myself two questions. If not now, then when? If not me, then who? I realise I've got to step up and be a better role model. Because there are so few people, so few women I know, that truly feel beautiful and they compliment others and make others feel good. Because the thing is, great people make you feel that you can become great too. Whereas those who are small tend to belittle. So I decided that I've got to be the change I want to see in the world and I decided to embrace my natural self a bit more. I'm still a work in progress. You know, I am choosing to become a better role model for others around me. We are so much influenced in the media. And in the media, a lot of things are photoshopped, okay? And we are we are beginning to learn that a bit more. And I like the idea that there's no such thing as an ugly girl, just a lazy girl. And yes, there are a lot of grooming tips that you can take into consideration, a lot of beauty and fashion that can really enhance your natural beauty. First and foremost, you've got to embrace your natural beauty and feel beautiful with from within. And then you can use all these external tips and strategies on the outside so I love it because when you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, others treat yourself, treat you better. And if they don't treat you better, you've got to be equipped with skills to pick yourself up really quickly. So with that, love and embrace all of you. Wishing you the very best. Love you. Take care.